Hey guys, Toast again for Fishy Acker. Just finished up filming a quick video showing the pivot drive from New Canoe. Their plug and play aftermarket pedal drive system for the Flint, the Pursuits, and the Frontiers. But for those that are uh, using the pivot drive, I was brainstorming with the guys at Five Mountain Outfitters, especially Ed on this one, had a brilliant idea how we could stow the drive unit. So of course you can use a track system, you can lock it into an upright position with the cord, but then it's sticking out the back, or we can leave it running gunning like this in the deployed fashion. But then depending on how you're uh, transporting it, the business end can meet the ground pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad news, right? So uh, what we did was think of a way that we could mount the drive system. So essentially, again, once you've got the retract cord disconnected, simply pull your pin, pull off the drive system, and what we've done is look for different ways to attach it onto the hull like this. And some of the guys are uh, putting them up inside the hull, uh, attached to their crates, things like that. But what I did, I actually just put a section of track on the gunnel back here. Have two pad eyes. Connected here, and then Yak Attack Roto grips on either end. This fits into the end of position. Your props back here behind it. And then simply, I use a short section of a cam strap. It'll go over, feed on through, and attach. And that thing ain't going nowhere. You can go that right down the interstate, high speeds, whatever, and it's going to stay in place. That was uh, an option that I thought about making basically out of what I had sitting around here, and I figured the rotor grips would work well, and they actually do, and I cut down one of those cam straps a little bit shorter, and I just attached a couple of pad eyes, but this is what Ed's brilliant idea was, and this is clean. Look at that, guys. Originally, we mounted it with these Malone accessory attachments onto the stock Freedom Tracks back here, but then I took up a pretty good amount of space, especially if I want to put a crate in there, because it came inside of the tank well a little bit. So last night, I thought I would try something different, so I attached another track on the side. In this case here, I didn't have to attach any pad eyes. And it just has these Malone accessory holders. Easy. What was it? Steady as a rock. So if you see anybody driving on the road with some uh, new canoes, they look like this and they have these uh, pivot drives attached like this, honk and yell. It's probably me. That's just a uh, clean rigging there. Thanks, Ed, for uh, brainstorming on that idea. That's awesome. So simply unhook it, pivot it around, no pun intended, set it down on the saddles here, tighten it down. And again, the same thing over here, using if you already have any of the uh, roto grips in anyway, or any other type of accessory here. I mean, heck, if you have some uh, paddle clips even, you could probably even use it. Or a paddle attachment from a rack. And then put the two pad eyes on, put the strap around it, cinch it down, and that puppy ain't going nowhere. And you can still put a crate in the back and put some other gear in it and it doesn't even, you know, fill that space up. So, I thought you guys might like to see those ideas. Again, thanks to Ed on this idea. And like I said, just a, kind of basically a more basic lighter weight version over here. Pretty cool. Get some up and out of the way and they ain't going nowhere. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, we ask you to please give us that thumbs up, like this video, share it with all your friends and buddies. 
Follow us on Facebook, on fishhacker.com, and subscribe to the Fishhacker YouTube channel. We'll catch you on the water, guys.